all right so we will be looking at getting some macro photography done with a raspberry pi camera and the goal here here is to take some really nice close-ups uh, of electronic components and stuff like that so uh, for today's video i will be using this uh, raspberry pi 2 with the 5 megapixel raspberry pi camera and we'll get more into the detail how uh, you need to convert this camera into a macro camera which is fairly simple uh, we'll be using my burnt out uh, raspberry pi 2 uh, to get some really nice close-ups apart from the camera and the raspberry pi uh, I would also recommend having a set of pliers, uh, nose pliers uh, if, uh, for precision because the way you are going to uh, get the macro uh, effect is uh, by taking your pliers and just simply rotating the lens until uh, for about a quarter round and that will actually break the a very brittle rubber seal around the lenses and they will actually screw out now what you want to do is screw out until they are about right just about to pop out and not let them uh, pop out uh, completely because that will expose the uh, internal sensor so you will be seeing the photograph of a sensor right now and we'll also take a look at how uh, the raspberry pi sees uh, the, what the camera sees without its lens completely removed so we'll take a look at that as well so this is how you do it just take your nose pliers and very slightly and gently uh, turn the sen uh, turn the lens out and that would actually screw them out and give you a different focal length uh, which is much better for macro so I'll just go ahead and connect the Raspberry Pi camera the Raspberry Pi to my uh, monitor and we'll take a look uh, and how it goes now before we get started what you also would want to have is a very powerful light source because after all you will be getting pretty close to your subject and that would mean uh, a lack of light so what I will be using is this LED uh, ring light that I created myself and we'll be using that to get some really nice close-ups so let's go ahead and see if uh, the thing actually works if the modification actually does work so for that of course i'll be using simply raspi cam and i'll just do that in a moment okay right off the bat we can see that it is face down on the table and it can focus pretty well now if i bring it up of course of course everything will be out of focus but if I bring it close to anything else, it would focus pretty nicely. Uh, yep. So that seems to work. Let's go ahead and get some really nice shots. Uh, of course, I will sh show you guys uh, live shots as well as uh, right at the end of this video, a few of the uh, so shots I've taken uh, separately. So let's get to it. Now, what you guys saw there were some blown out parts uh, from a Raspberry Pi that I blew up by directly supplying 12 volts to it in a previous video so that was pretty cool and um, I seriously did not expect it to work this well um, so let's go ahead and try to get some more uh, great shots and yes light is actually very very much required and I would actually suggest you have a very powerful source of light if you want to uh, get some decent uh, if not perfect images so uh, i will uh, go ahead and show you guys some other ones um and then we'll take a look at what happens if i completely remove uh, the lens So those were a few other very interesting um, images there uh, and what I'll do right now is go ahead and completely remove the lens and show you guys 
uh, what it's like now i do not recommend anyone uh, doing that because that actually can damage the sensor inside but i'll just do it uh, just to get it on camera and it would really be interested to so okay so this is what it is um super blurry i guess it can barely see anything um i don't know how it would directly affect the lens so i'm not very sure but uh, uh let's go ahead and see if i can do one more thing so yes i've tried a couple of things and the lens actually will not get anything uh, so there we have it